start with the invocation. instruct us and teach us in the way that we should conduct this meeting. Please counsel us with your loving eye on us. Let our aims in this meeting be aligned with your direction. Let our plans be orchestrated, orchestrated by you. Father, let your will be done in this meeting so that we can be a meeting that is based upon your desires for us. Whatever it is that you want to result from this meeting, Lord, let it happen. Amen.
put our stamp of approval on it. I'm sorry, if I can have anybody speaking, adjust their mic. Let's move it to me. Please, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to be in the paper. <laughs> so the main thing is the uh, the streets, I would think. Okay, so these the city will not own or maintain any infrastructure in the subdivision. Okay. So it'll be up to the camp. Correct. Mr. Chairman, um, I was out last week, but the staff is available if you have any questions for them. Um, I'll, our uh, inspector and Ms. Carey here have worked on this project. If you've got any questions that we can answer, uh, they will uh, lead the meeting, this one, and the planning and zoning, uh, and I will follow up with the city council if it moves in that direction. But if you have any questions at this point in time, uh, uh, Mr. Lyle can answer uh, any of that for you. Thank you. Do you have any opinions on this one? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, it's up to y'all to decide. Oh, no. This is all going to be in EPJ, from what I understand, and it's for the roads and the drainage. What I understand is we have to deny it so the county can take it over and he can proceed with the subdivision in the county by county steps. We have to I'm not sure I'm understanding that because the, the county wants our approval. Right. Approval that they can do it. Okay. That's what I'm understanding. Right. We're, we don't want to have anything to do with it. The city is giving the county the blessing. And the city, is not, the and the city is not on the hook for this at all. Right. The only services we do provide is water. Water will be provided to the citizens, correct? Uh, Phelps will be providing the electricity uh, and the city of Florida will be providing the water. I will be constructing it uh, and dedicating it to the city. But is Oswald will never be the responsibility no matter what the city grows however far? Right. Correct. The county's going to maintain these roads. Uh, from what I understand, the county's not even going to do it. He's going to have to have a uh, homeowners association to take care of it. Am I wrong? Uh, as of right now, the county has not changed their regulations. Um, so, but it is, they have been in discussions with my HOA owning and maintaining it. It's just the design standards that are going to be required. Do we have any, any kind of uh, format for the, the homeowner association that the city's going to follow, the more people to follow as we move along with it? I don't have anything at this time. I don't think the city will. Mm -hmm. yes. it, it, it is, HOA documents are required uh, when I submit to the county. They, that's part of the application for their review and approval. But don't they, don't they all operate differently? Some of them more strict, some of them less strict, some of them are security force, some of less even though? Yeah, I mean, it, the, the HOA, um, I, for instance, I just did one on 775 and the county required my HOA to own and maintain all the drainage swells and the two detention ponds. Um, and so it's the HOA's uh, duty to budget for that and maintain it. But it has to be designed to county specs. They review it, they approve it, they even inspect it. Uh, and then after that, my HOA has to maintain that. And if they don't, what happens? So if your HOA does not maintain what happens? Uh, then the county would be required to go in and maintain it and build a HOA. Do you have a non-performing HOA who's going to pay? I think they're, they're, it happens probably all the time, I'm not sure. On the HOA, it's, it's mandatory for all people that purchase in that to be 
your HOA. Yes, yes, sir. So when you purchase the lot, it comes with your it comes with an HOA agreement for every lot in the subdivision. Great. I, I'm president of the state's so Eagle Creek HOA. That's a mandatory. Yes, sir. Um, I did, and this was formed in the early nineties, so the restrictions are less than they are now. Yes. But it's quite simple. If the HOA does not perform then the county would do it and then they would send the HOA for the money and they will have the money because the fees are mandatory. Well, what you're saying is we have to tell him no? No, we have to prove him. No? Who would, what I'm saying? Saying that we, we are not going to be responsible for the subdivision. Right. It's an ETJ. Yeah. But we're going to let the county handle it all. Okay. Maybe I can clarify if you give me a second. Sure. So property in the in the ETJ, uh, you have you have two regulations. You have a city streets and drainage regulation, and you have a county streets and drainage regulation. Um, since this property is going to be in the ETJ, not annexed into the city, uh, the county will own and maintain, or, or their codes would be one to go because they they have the ultimate responsibility uh, if the HOA or anybody doesn't doesn't uh, maintain their drainage. So mm -hmm. right now you're, the, the the question is who is reviewing the construction plans of the street and to what standard are the streets being built to? So right now the county is going to have to own and maintain it, uh, and they're they're asking for the county specifications. So the the vote today is to uh basically allow me to uh, to move forward with the county streets and drain regulation let their review agency review and approve it let their inspectors review and approve it and go forward that direction so and um, if you approve this i disagree with what you're supposed to do and the city continues to grow to the east and it jumps over that HOA where that property is. So you're going to have an island in there that's being under county maintenance or an HOA under county specs and regs and then you have city all around it? How's that going to work? Well, they can voluntarily. Uh, yeah, the, the only annexation that is allowed right now is voluntary annexation. Um, well, the property owners could. If you remember right, this came up before when um, Mr. Baggs was trying to include part of the city of that development, and we turned that down. Yeah, because no, it was done voluntarily. Right. But only. But this, everything in this is down to the county. You are correct, Ray. If, if he builds a subdivision and then they want a voluntary annex, we will not voluntary annex them because they will be on septic and their streets will be the county standards. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, and that, that is bring up the point of the that as we grow and we're going to grow, and it jumps over where that's at, you've got an island that's built under, you know, a whole different scenario. If it's going to be in the city, ETJ, mentioned the city, I think you should just build it the city specs and move forward. Then you'll see something different. We're just following our steps because we have to bring it to the Board of Adjustments and then to the PMZ and ultimately to the City Council. But, you know, it's, it's a, a, a step that we have to take. So if you vote it down, then it's done. Uh, if you vote it, then we have to move forward to the other governmental entities till we get it approved. That's what the county's going to require. So one thing I do want to point out is Sunnyside Road uh, County Road 405 and County Road 401 are all uh, built to county specifications and Sunnyside Drive is in the city limits uh, and there's several there's streets all over this town that have been um, annexed and built over time that are to the county specifications that that are do not have curb and gutter um, and so even if you did annex this at any point in time in the future which you have the right to turn down the voluntary annexation, as, as Mr. Andy was saying. Uh, so you don't have to annex it, but even if you did, 
Uh, there's streets all over Floresville built exactly like this. Any new sub the idea for the specifications that the city has is any new subdivision that comes in, like you're talking about Riverbend, should have the requirements of them because ultimately that's where we want to go. You know, in 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 a uh, the perfect world that we want to create or, or the community that we want to create, we want to have curbs, we want to have sidewalks, we want to have gutters. So that's that's the purpose for these uh, uh, specifications that we have for our roads. Thank you, sir. Well, the city didn't have the money to put the service system in there. It's too expensive. That's the, that, that needs some clarification. That is the developer's responsibility. And the developer needs to be the one to uh, put the infrastructure in there. It wasn't the, necessarily the city. We had alternatives that were presented to the developer. But when we talk about being too expensive, it's, a, it's an expense to the developer. So that's what we're having in that regard. Uh, I know Mr. Baggs has done uh, his due diligence uh, several times with the city. The first, uh, the first uh, template of this, this subdivision that he presented to us had uh, connected to the city sewer system, water, streets, everything. But he did his, uh, his calculations and it was going to be too expensive for him to incur the, uh, the infrastructure for the sewer. And also, I guess, uh, the streets. So, that's what we're at. Oh, you were going to say something? Yeah, you yes. can not say anything. It's, I mean, that's what it is. He did a very good explanation of it. It's just, I don't see it ever happening, so I don't. Any questions? I, I do. I do want to clarify that we're not voting on septic at this particular road right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll make a proposal from here. Okay. Um, I propose that we approve the variance for the subdivision in the ETJ in relief of the city streets and drainage. I second it. Second on second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Yes. Motion is carried. Three to one. We'll have adjourn this meeting. Oh, I'm going to be way to adjourn this, uh, the meeting of the uh, Board of Adjustments. Move to adjourn by Teddy. Stephen, can we second that? Stephen, second. All in favor? We are adjourned.